Hello everyone, we're talking about deadlifting safely without hurting your back and today I want to go into a little bit of more of a humility talk. So don't use too much weight. I, you know, I, my buddy Brandon Brown had this really good slide one time that he, he gave a kettlebell and this was just for a squat, but he gave a, a woman a kettlebell to squat with 12 kilograms. Perfect. 14 kilograms, round back city. Sometimes the weight is just too much, and that is true in the deadlift, it's true in any different movement. Sometimes you're, you know, even though that woman could squat that weight, I would argue that it's too much because she cannot maintain good technique while she does it. Now, you'll get a, a big comeback that you'll get is, uh, one rep maxes never really look good, but I would just say that you're not progressing correctly. I've, I've seen more and more people be able to hang on to really good positions for a really long time, but it took them a long time to learn that. They have a lot of reps under their belt that have taught them how to deal with fatigue and how to maintain good positions while they're fatigued. So, Keep that in mind. Don't use too much weight. If you can't figure out, you're watching one of these other videos in this Lance Goyke playlist that you found and stuff is not working. See, I didn't swear there. That's good. I'm getting better. Um, stuff is not working. Then consider the fact that maybe you need to take the weight down and just kind of, you know, Swallow your humble pill and figure out the positions first. Then from there, absolutely add more weight on. Okay, but you have to demonstrate to me that you can do it effectively with, you know, a relatively small amount of weight before I'm gonna start loading you up. Before I even, you know, a good example of this is when I'm teaching this, I'm usually teaching a kettlebell deadlift variation because kettlebells only get so heavy, but you're gonna need to show me a really good kettlebell deadlift before I move you to a trap bar deadlift or a barbell deadlift. One caveat I want to talk about, if you have someone who's a little bit fitter and you're trying to figure out how to clean something up, maybe you've been deadlifting a certain way, maybe it doesn't look very good and now you're trying to fix it, you might have strength and you might have fitness, but you might not have the motor pattern and so, especially if that person is pretty flexible, I might actually increase the weight to make it easier. Sometimes you just need a little extra sensation, a little extra compression to help you out with a, with a you know, kettlebell. If you get someone who maybe looks like me, they obviously work out a little bit, but <laughs> they're definitely pale. Uh, I might give someone like me a 24 kilogram kettlebell. Most uh, 100 to or 90 to 140 pound women, I'm giving maybe a 10 kilogram, eight kilogram kettlebell just to start at. Anybody who's got back pain, I might be starting you again with, you know, like an eight kilogram, maybe a 12, maybe even a 16 if you look pretty fit. Um, and we're gonna dial it in from there. If, if you look like you're not struggling with it, you, you're not struggling with the weight, you just can't figure out the movement, then I might go up a little bit. But if you look like you're struggling with the weight and your shoulders are collapsing and your weight is shifting forward, then I'm concerned. Then I'm thinking, okay, this is maybe too much weight. And that is most often the case. Though, as I mentioned, sometimes you might need just a little bit more.